Hi, I'm the woodpecker today. I'm making this support so my fishing boat trailer has the right angle. I used to store my fishing boat right here, but I brought it back home. <laughs> Lucky for me. Otherwise, it would have finished just like the rest of the dépanneur. But instead, it's stored just in front of the shop. But the motor is so heavy that it always leans toward the back. And since I don't want the head of the motor touching the ground, I put a lug under the boat. But a small lug like that is a bit tippy. So I'm going to make something better. And to do that, I have the perfect wood, leftovers from the shop's beams. First thing to do is to bring some inside the shop. Now I can cut a pattern to help me trace the shape I need to cut. Ah, in fact, as you can see right here, it's three identical pieces that I have to cut. And this pattern is the shape for all the sides of the legs. So after the cardboard is cut, I can use it to trace its shape onto the blocks. I trace the same pattern onto adjacent sides of each block. Okay, I have a lot of tracing to do, but when I'm done, I can tilt the pensa table to the angle of the legs. The first cut I do is the one at the bottom of each leg. But when I try to cut the top, I can't. My bensa is not big enough. <laughs> Does that mean that I need to build a bigger one? <laughs> not at all. I'll just use my hansa for those cuts. Then, with the second pattern, I can trace the shape of the top of the leg. Next, I cut the blocks. Uh, but this was not my finest hour. This didn't work like I was expecting it to work. But I didn't know that then. So after making the first cut, I tape both pieces together and make the second cut. And it's just when I cut all three legs that I noticed that this was a disaster. Nothing fits together. I figured that it's because I took my reference point from the exterior corners. And none of those blocks are close to being square. Since it's the inside that's important, I retrace the top's shape. And I can move the blade guide to its highest position for the first time. And with the table leveled, I can cut to the top line. Here it's so obvious how crooked the cut was. And while I'm at it, I cut the other side also. Now it's way better. With nice straight lines, the joints are much better. And the top is almost straight. This will be good enough for what I intend to do. The last thing to do is glue all this together. I'm using construction adhesive for that, and I put glue on all the surfaces. Then I just need to put this together and clamp it. When it's as tight as I can clamp it, I add glue into the exposed joints in hope this will help block water infiltration. And when the glue is dry, I can replace the lug. This will be much more stable than a small lug. 
But this stand is not to keep my boat in my backyard. I want to store it at the Lac du Repos because it's much closer to the cottage. And here's my boat with its new stand, ready for its next trip to the cottage. Okay, I know, this isn't fine when working, but I was so happy to use my new pensa to make things that I was unable to do with my other one. So, until next time, on the woodpecker. Great.